what is going on welcome back to the channel today we're going to be working on some easier stuff on the truck uh i bought a weather strip kit and it came with a bunch of stuff that i wouldn't have ordered but uh we're going to put on anyway it's going to be under hood stuff um, some stuff on the doors and the tailgate so with that said let's jump right into it and uh, get this stuff replaced so one of the other pieces that this kit came with was upper bumpers for the tailgate now these are for 81 to 87 it says uh, truck upper tailgate bumpers pair there it is part number 18882 18882 there it is um so here's the upper bumper here and there's the lower bumper now i'm not sure if this kit is supposed to have the lower bumpers or not some parts are on back order uh, i'm not sure if that's one of them or if it just doesn't have them either way not a big deal to me i'm only putting these on because they came in the kit um i wouldn't have ordered them otherwise but a quick visual inspection if you look at this there's a gap here and i don't know how good you can see it but there's like a I don't know there's like a washer like a rubber washer behind the the bumper and this didn't come with any washers but when i laid it on top of here just to check the height distance it's the same without those washers so i'm guessing i don't need the washers i'm, I'm not really sure they look it looks about the same um if i move it out the base though the base looks the same thickness and everything so i'm not sure if these are just that worn down and it's supposed to stick out this far or if this is molded so that you don't need these extra washer pieces uh in there for the the distance so i think i'm going to take it apart and leave those washers out and just see how the tailgate closes i'm assuming it's going to close fine like this because it's the same it's like the same distance as these worn down nubs right now so it should be all right if not i'll always have those washers um it is a t30 so that's that i'm gonna pop this guy out right now and uh, put the new one in probably couldn't see it but as I loosened this up these washers fell out they say quarter on them so I'm assuming quarter inch you can see where they sat not sure what the idea there was but uh, we'll just go ahead and put this in without them It twisted on me a little bit as I tightened it, so I'm trying to square it up here. Should be good. Looks good. It looks like the washer was over a hole on this side, but not on this side. I'm Again, I'm not really sure what that's for maybe someone else out there knows what that is if i need them if i don't I'm sure i'll find out all right so now that those are on you can check and see how it closes now this thing never did close all that great um, actually this tailgate I don't know what it's off of uh, I bought it a couple years ago because when I got this truck it had a blue Chevy tailgate on it this was a white GMC tailgate I got out of uh, Indiana all right so with this I gotta make sure the handles in Looks fine to me. 
Yep, it's touching. It's pushed in there. This side is barely touching. Not touching on the bottom, barely touching on the top. I'm not sure if uh, that's good or not, but it does stick out a little more on this side than over here. This one is more flush and is touching top and bottom. Anyway, I think that's going to be good for now. I'm going to call it good. So the other thing we can do is replace these door bumpers. Um, again, they're not in the worst condition, but they came in the kit, so we might as well put some new ones in. Um, the only thing is, getting them out is not great. Um, if you look at this, you see how large the head is on that cap. Um, the way these are deteriorated, you know, from years of exposure, uh, it's probably just going to tear this cap off and it's going to fall inside of here. So, uh, if there's a better way to do it, I don't know what it is. So, I'm just going to try to pull this thing out as uh, easy as I can and we'll go from there. Yeah, so that tore immediately, which is what I expected. But hopefully, I can grab that nub. Maybe I can pry it out. Let's see. No, well, it broke off. So that's in there forever at this point. I was hoping I could get this in there and pull it out, but it was too uh, deteriorated. So you got the new one, and the issue with that is, is the hole is so small it's not just gonna pop right in. So uh, I'm gonna use a little bit of glass cleaner and just spray some on here. And I'm gonna use that same little flat blade and just pry it inside. Sorry about the camera, I'm trying to hold it with my legs. Try to get that in there. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, I can spin it a little bit to get to the other side. There we go. Now she's in. Cool. Well, it's lubed up. Not that it needs to be, but looks good. Door should close nice. It should probably close about the same, but uh, the stop should hit the door. Can't really tell with it uh, closed anyway, but. Sounds nice and solid. Not sure if that has anything to do with it or not, but uh, that's how to replace the door bumpers. So another item I picked up in the uh, process of trying to replace stuff that may need replacing is broken. Just kind of want. This was a just kind of want part, and uh, it's the selector for my fuel tanks. Uh, right and left tank now if we look here the previous owner wrote all over the dash he had an overdrive unit here on and off which i do have an overdrive unit just not in the truck right now hopefully someday i'll get to that um, and then on here we got p and d passenger and driver r i'm guessing is i don't know right um that would be passenger that would make sense so um not that it's a big deal, but this switch is kind of gross. And I would like it to have clear markings on it, which they make a newer version of this. In fact, I don't know if this one looked like this before, but Delco still makes uh, this part. So if you look at it here from USA 1, it's 20553. It says 87 fuel uh, full-size Chevy dual gas selector. So um, there was a different switch for pre-87. Not sure what the difference is probably the electrical connectors um but if we look on here these are the gm parts there's uh ac delco and gm number so we'll pull this out and pop that out of the dash and get it replaced it should just be i already obviously got the dash cap off but it looks like it's just a single connector i should just be able to pop off and then squeeze these two tabs pull it out and 
pop the new one in. So I guess let's see what uh, we got here. So here is the new one. As you can see, it says right hand, left hand fuel tank. Much, much nicer switch. Um, preferably is the reason I got it was because it is labeled. So uh, again, should be able to just pop this off. With the dash pad in, this would be a bit more difficult. You'd be doing it from the bottom, but since I got all this apart, I figured right now would be a good time to do this. Yeah, look at that. All right, so I'm assuming it's an original piece, but uh, you never know. Could be a replacement at some point. Got to make sure this connector is the same. It looks like it is. It's four pin. Looks all good. So I'm going to throw this in. And the way this is labeled, passenger driver, passenger would be right, which is up, and left hand would be, uh, you know, driver. So should be the same. Don't have to switch any outs on it. In fact, I'm just going to pull this through connect that and pop that right in look at that it's super easy looks good should hopefully work good i just got to get this stuff off here now so on to the next thing all right so next up on the list is under hood stuff so i've got these uh these well these are just more bumpers but uh these go along the rails on the side here. You can see they're pretty squished compared to these. And uh, also, I got six in the kit here. It looks like I got four. Yeah, I got two, one, two here, three, four. And then I got these, uh, I don't know. These are hood bumper adjusters. You can see this one's a lot lower than this one. Um, I've never set them. That's just how they were. Um, so these are real easy. These just spin right out. Nothing to that. Just gonna spin that in. I'll just leave it about there for right now we'll check it later so the other thing we got going on is this hood weather stripping so it's along the back side of the hood there which uh, may or may not be fun i'm not really sure if i have to reach in there and i can't push i don't know we'll find out never done this before so we'll figure it out um as for these hood pieces i'm thinking there should be one here as well it looks like that slot fits in there. So uh, I will be putting all six in versus just the four, um, which is good. I didn't know I was even missing two, but uh, I'm guessing these should just pop right out. Or not. Let's see if this guy will help me get it out. Oh, it's keyed. I didn't realize. So looking at this one, I assumed they were like that. This is keyed, so they actually slide in, not just pull straight out. So that makes a lot more sense. So knowing that, I should be able to slide this up and out a lot easier. Yep, there we go. All right. So maybe it uh, only does get four. I don't know. Guess we'll see. I don't think there's any difference in any of these uh, pieces. They all look identical to me. If that fits in there and it works, I mean, it really looks like that goes in there. Like it fits perfectly. If it's not, well, I'll just take them out. So, just the opposite of that, I'm just going to slide that in that little key there and 
push back fits on there nicely wrap that edge underneath so it holds on slide that all the way back and then see if you can hook this edge underneath there we go as you can see what i was just talking about wrap that edge around there so it's nice and tight hold it in place Yeah, looking at how tight those other ones are, I'm not sure that that goes there, but again, we'll just pop those out if that's an issue. Okay, last one. So things to remember when you're putting this in is that the flat side goes to the inside and the oval, whatever you want to call this, goes to the outside. Now if you look at this, it's smooth and it's got some ribs, so those ribs have to go up into the, um, into the hood to grab, and it's very difficult to push up there. Um, so what I'm using here is just a little hammer and a punch. So I'm just using the, the big side of the punch to get as much surface on that thing because those things spin really easy. So I'm just putting that on the head here and getting as much surface contact as I can, giving it a couple taps. You want to get it up in there because uh, you want to get all those ribs up in there or else it'll be loose. So what I had to go back and punch a couple of those in further because only one or two ribs was up in there. And once you get it up in there, you can see it actually pinches it up and pulls it tight. So just something to remember uh, when doing this. So I got all those in. These ones in the middle were kind of a pain. I actually had to crawl into the engine bay to be able to reach those. I couldn't get it from this side. But they're all in, nice and secure. Should keep the elements out. And uh, yeah, whatever. Not something I would have ordered, but again, it came in the kit. So I'm definitely gonna use it. So now we should be able to uh, close this up and yeah not gonna really be able to see anything back here but should be nice and sealed along the uh, back edge here so that's gonna do it for today all these weather strip installations are gonna be super fun <laughs> in the long run so I still have to do the doors the the runs along here the channels um, these windows, which 
this is kind of how it all started is I wanted to replace the uh, vent wing uh, rubber it's kind of chipped out on both sides and uh, it's not good so the downside is having to pull this thing apart I didn't know what it took to do this until recently um, I just looked it up and uh, it's gonna be interesting so you got to pull this thing apart you got to drill some rivets out before you can uh, get everything apart and then put it back together put the new rivets in I don't have any in this kit but I do have a rivet gun with uh, some rivets so that shouldn't be a big deal um, it's just having to do it on a day that I know it's not gonna rain which is not today because it looks like it's about to rain so that's gonna do it for today uh, thanks for watching as always if you like what you see here comment below like the video subscribe to the channel as always, we'll see you guys next time.